Right then guys, welcome back to this week's plumberparts.co.uk tool review. This is a bit of a weird one. This is not going to be the standard tool that every plumber or every DIY has in their bag because they've probably seen it on our Amazon store and thought, well, what's that? I don't even know what it is. What does it do? Well, it's so handy, so good to have that it's one, I mean, look at the size of it for a start. I mean, it just fits easily in your hand tools bag or in the back of the van, in the glove compartment or wherever you need it. Basically, it's a drill pump. I know. How cool is that? This spindle here goes on the end of your drill, a standard chuck drill, and then we use the motor of the drill to pump out whatever we want to pump out. So what I'm gonna do for you today is show me using it on this toilet just down here, very, very nice and easy, but also I'll talk about the other applications we can use this for. I really, really wish I had it with me a few weeks ago. You're probably gonna sort of say, look, this looks quite new. I've had one of these in my bag for years and I've lost it, I don't know where it is. So this is my new one here. So I'll show you how we use it. You know where you can get it in the Amazon store, links below and also why you should have it. So let's get on with this video, guys. Remember to hold tight. Let's do this. Remember, you can visit the Plumber Parts Interactive House to learn more about the plumbing in your own home. Hold tight. Right, so uh, very simple to set one of these up. Now, firstly, what I would like to say is that you don't need to just use a small bit of hose. Uh, we're using small bits of hoses at the moment purely because it's easy for me to demonstrate that in the sort of combines where we are in the studio. Um, but I've used like 25 metre hoses or 20 odd metre hoses on these either side to pump out things and get things working. So it's really, really handy for that. So standard push on hose fitting at the end. You can just push your hose on just like so, like that. And if you want to, you can pop a Jubilee clip on there or a tie wrap, pull that nice and tight to make sure that it doesn't come off. And you've guessed it on the other end, it's exactly the same. We're just pushing a hose piece on like so, just onto that spigot there. And that's it. Now there's two little holes as well where you can screw this down if you like. And we are gonna screw this bit down for today's demonstration. But often you'll find that they pump so easily and they're so well greased inside once you've got your drill chuck on there that you won't really have to worry about it. It's a bit naughty me saying that, but you know, I don't mind breaking the rules sometimes as you all know very well. So what we usually do then, what I'm gonna do is just pop this down here and I'm just gonna screw through my poor long suffering table we have a closer look at it, now it's on here. We've got arrows that indicate which way our water's gonna go through. And also, if you have a look on the front on the red bit, you'll also see an arrow that indicates the direction that you want your drill to be going in. Because obviously most drills are two directional. You can have them going backwards and forwards. In this case, we want it going forwards. That's how it's gonna be going, all right? So what we'll do, we'll get this toilet up on here. So now we will pour a little bit of water in here. So what I want to demonstrate to you is this tool is perfect if you're trying to get rid of the water out of a toilet bowl because you're changing the toilet. Absolutely magic when it comes to taking out of a cistern as well, where you know you might have to get a huge wet vac upstairs out the back of the van, or you know you might have to get a load of towels, put the towels in, and then wring them out into the bath or something like that. All these things, this sort of product pretty much solves. So we're going to pop some water in this toilet here. Uh, I'll tell it's about there. See if there's any coming out the back. Oh, it's nearly there, nearly there. So we look at our direction arrows on here. It's saying that the flow is gonna go through there. So this one here is the one that we wanna pop in the toilet. So we just stuff that in there nice and low so it can't just flop out and start getting air in there and bits and bobs like that. And then we pop round to our drill bit here. You're gonna to wanna to pump it somewhere so why not into our bucket just down there? So pop this into here, tighten it up. Now I know if I look on the front that the direction wants to be going like that, which on this is on that setting. And then I can literally just start drilling. Now I'll hold this out, here we go. And there we go, empty, like magic, all right? Wicked, isn't it?
I'd just like to let you know that the Plumber Parts clothing store is now online. Click on any of the clothing you see below this video or in the video description below or in the topped pinned comment. New designs will be added on a regular basis. So another reason I'd use one of these, you've just seen us, I mean, let's face it, it's going to empty any receptacle that you want to empty. And it's also going to be strong enough for you to be able to pump that down a hose that's 20, 25 meters plus. The other thing that these are really, really good for, and I wish I had it yesterday, I was working at a house where they had radiator pipes in a screed floor, and I was changing the radiators over. Um, and because those pipes are in the screed floor, they weren't draining. These are great for that, because you can stuff that hose over the cut pipe, pop this on there, and suck all the water out of the undrained pipe work that you can't get to. And that means then that you can nice and safely solder it, because as you guys know, you cannot solder pipe with any water in it. So there you go, very, very simple tool, very easy to use. You've seen it just demonstrated so easily there. As I said, if you wanna get one, you can get them on the Amazon store, links for that below. You'll be able to find them in the tools I love section. If there was ever gonna be a little bit of an improvement on this, uh, would be maybe just to get a file out and file your own hex on that, or file a couple of flats on it, just so your chuck gets a, a better grip on it. So yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, obviously give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, Go away. You don't have to watch it, do you? It's YouTube. You're not getting paid, are you? Um, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. Remember, there's one thing you should do. It's hold tight. I'll see you soon. Adios amigos.